Some South Carolina leaders say union demands are the root of the problems at the ports. The International Longshoremen's Association continues to push for the Hugh Leatherman Terminal in Charleston to be all union jobs. Melissa Rademacher joining us now. And Melissa, you talked to the local union leader about all of this. Right, Anne, and the Hugh Leatherman Terminal you see behind me is the newest one in the low country in the state. It's only a few years old. Now, historically, some of those on-site jobs are offered to state employees and some to union workers. But the ILA is arguing that they made an agreement for all new terminals like this one to be all union. Now, that master agreement was made between the ILA and the U.S. Maritime Alliance. It does say the business model could be altered to have work currently performed by state employees changed to be performed by union employees. The contract also says U.S. Maritime Alliance member companies may be prohibited from using a new facility if the work is not done by the union workers. That if a new terminal comes on, the ILA will have the jobs from the ship uh, to the gate. Didn't say anything about um, the Wanda Welch. It didn't say nothing but North Charleston. He didn't say anything but any of the other terminals um, in the state, but they tried to actually um, paint the picture that the ILA tried to take and put uh, take um, the state employee's job. No, ma'am, that's not what we're trying to do. Now, I reached out to the governor's office for a comment, and they directed me to a court filing from earlier this year where Governor Henry McMaster wrote, I will not allow unions and their unlawful boycotts to hold our state's resources, jobs, or supply chains hostage as they seek to advance their own self-interests. South Carolinians have earned our prosperity, and we must continue to preserve it and enhance it, not bargain in a way in response to labor union boycotts, third-party threats, or coercive pressure campaigns. Now, I also reached out to the South Carolina ports about this issue. If and when we get a response from them, it will be added to this story on our website as this debate continues. In North Charleston, Melissa Rademacher, Live 5 News.